exhibit extraordinary promise and achievement early in his career. Our honoree, Dr. Rashawn Ray, received a bachelor's degree in sociology from the University of Memphis before coming to IU to obtain his master's degree in sociology in 2005 and his PhD in 2010. Since that time, Dr. Ray has produced an astonishing amount of scholarship while establishing himself as a brilliant research communicator with articles, op-eds, and media appearances that enrich public understanding of the interconnected nature of categorizations such as race, class, and gender and their impact on social psychology and systems of discrimination. Ray regularly rep testifies at the federal and state levels on racial equity, policing, and cr criminal justice reform, health policy, wealth, and family policy. He served on the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington Planning Committee and the Commission on Racial Justice with Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. A gifted and generous teacher and mentor, he's a professor of sociology and executive director of the Lab for Applied Social Science Research at the University of Maryland at College Park. In that capacity, he helped develop the virtual reality program for law enforcement and led implicit bias training for thousands of police officers, military personnel, and employees at companies and organizations. And it's fascinating to talk to him that that, that structure is in place, but it's run on artificial intelligence that keep getting better and better and better as they enhance the system to do essentially the training in a more effective way. He's also a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution. Dr. Ray is one of the co-editors of Context Magazine, Sociology for the Public. And I can realize the other editor is here as, uh, as um, uh, Fabio Roja. Um, and so that, that was something I learned today, great. He's all, uh, Ray is also the author of over 50 books, articles, book chapters, and op-eds. His book, Race and Ethnic Relations in the 21st Century, History, theory, institutions, and policy has been adopted nearly 40 times in college courses. He has written for the Washington Post, the New York Times, USA Today, Politico, Newsweek, NBC News, The Guardian, The Hill, Huffington Post, and The Conversation, as well as appearing on most mainstream news networks. There's a whole list of them, but essentially almost all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Here today to receive the 2022 Outstanding Young <laughs>